Hejka, witajcie moi mili, z tej strony Rashi, bo jest to kolejny odcinek The Wolf Among Us i zaczynamy epizod piąty. Nie taki wilk straszny. No i zobaczymy co będzie się działo, zobaczymy co przyniesie nam rozmowa z Garbusem, do którego biura dotarliśmy w ostatnim odcinku. Trochę mnie to przed nam niepokoi, bo... <śmiech> bo wygląda na to, że Garbus nie jest takim złym człowiekiem, jak z jakiego go mieliśmy. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, God! Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. No, i właśnie, i zobaczymy co z tego wyjdzie teraz. Odnośnie dużej ilości spraw do omówienia. Teraz bez wstępniaka już nawet gra nam rzuca. Intro. No, robi się ciekawie, robi się ciekawie. Baran, Antonien. Będą się chyba poszukać jeszcze jakichś gier tego typu, bo naprawdę powiem wam, zarąbicie się tego typu gry przychodzi. To jest po prostu dla mnie cudowna zabawa. <śmiech> Mam nadzieję ogólnie, że wam też gry tego typu się podobają. I byście chcieli jeszcze na przykład jakieś tego typu serii obejrzeć. Zobaczymy co z tego wyjdzie. Dobra. Wracamy do, że tak powiem, realiów. Wracam do świata żywych. Czas pogadać z Garbusem. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason. And it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily. The girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I now? 
I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything it's like that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, Madden. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? Tweedledee, please. I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. Oh, I think I do. I'd love a good reason to put a bullet between your eyes after what you did! That's enough! I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just... Sit. Down. Now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Georgie. Nie zdążyłem. I się zastanawiałem, czemu tylko dopierdolić, czy przypierdolić. fact is... George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're just gonna let him do this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker! Take all of them! I didn't fucking Don't start this! Don't make any trouble, Georgie! Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce! What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit. But he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, well, was... look at you, all fixed up. Well, I'm just going to appear to be so drunk. Okay, now we're going to go to the piazza. You're 
done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Trzeba wykończyć całą trójeczkę. I tyle. I do piachu każdego poślemy. Skończył się dobry wilk. W tym miejscu już na pewno. W tym miejscu już się kończy dobry wilk. No i nie będzie negocjacji, tylko sztywna rozmowa. Myślałem, że jeszcze może... Dobra, jedziemy na grubo, zresztą co się będziemy? Trzeba cały samochód wyrąbać. Stajesz, 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 stajesz. Gun it. Are you sure? Do it. He's not moving. Keep going. Jak jestem, co by się stało, gdybyśmy się nie ruszyli? No to byłoby potrącenie tylko, ale. O, dobra, ściągniemy go tam siłą, nie za fraki. Samochód George'ego. Olać jego samochód teraz. Kurde, ale uciekł nam ten... Uciekł nam ten pierdoła. Garbus. Cholera. De... Jakby nie patrzeć. Garbus ich kryje. A ona go kryje, więc no... De facto teraz się nie będę już pieprzył z tym.
<clears throat> Hello, Bigby. I hope to come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian, you don't know what you're doing. If you don't get out of the way right now, I'll have Go to... Go ahead. Go ahead. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered... Of course it does. Girl, so it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean... Uh, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell, I didn't. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. <gasps> you think that'll help? You still haven't learned, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. Nie, po prostu... Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy, Big. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? Kurwa, the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? How could you do this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. <laughs> when we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. What the fuck are you supposed to do then? Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really... Just shut up. 
What makes you think you can just... I know what I've done. Wait! I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking... Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them! Vivian, wait! I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian! Don't! Uh, uh, Goodbye, Vivian! Georgie. No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... Oh! Dobra, trzeba go wziąć do lekarza, ogarnąć, kurwa, bo normalnie... Ach. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. Kurwa. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? For both of us. You know the bastard deserves it. Make a promise to a dying man. He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? The Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You want to finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. I'm not sticking around for much longer. You deserve worse than this, Georgie. I suppose you're right. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. All right, Georgie. Robi się coraz bardziej brudno, ale kurde, ewidentnie zrobili z niego marionetkę, nie? Jeszcze po tym, co nam to, to, tutaj opowiedziała Vivian, to już w ogóle to już stuprocentowo, ale kurwa, to tylko pokazuje, idąc dalej tym tropem, tym co się tu dzieje, przez jeszcze to laboratorium urzeźnika, że kurwa, to jest wszystko jest takim syfem. Tu nie ma już właśnie ogrodu. Bajki zniknęły dawno temu. Kurwa. Nie ma już tego, co było kiedyś. Dobra. Dalej już polecimy w następnym odcinku. Tymczasem dzięki za uwagę. Trzymajcie się. Hej.